Don't tell me nothing about mine. I went paper. Lost grants, then lost my mom. The feds, they can smell out a rat. I say that to you because what they do is they actually look for the guy who is, you know, who who treasure his finances a little bit more than the other guy. Who treasure the girl with the fat ass, with the expensive pocketbooks. They approach that individual and that individual has no other way to escape. Well, this is how I feel as though the philosophy of a rat is. They feel as though they don't have no way to escape, so they become to being a person that just does and says anything to help themselves. I ain't the one to point fingers, but some of you niggas was rats in y'all mom's pussies, man. Some of y'all was rats coming up as kids when y'all would run in the kitchen and tell them that cousin Flim Flim is in the other fucking room doing him. I'm I'm understanding that this is how y'all was raised and this is how y'all was, uh, you know, this is how your family has, you know, taught you to be. But the question I want to ask is, how many people know a real nigga barber? Like a barber, you could come in like, damn, man, if you was outside grinding, it's cold as shit out there. I'm going to go ahead and lamp in here. How many niggas remember a barber that you could say to him, man, listen, man, I got like a little couple of dollars extra on me, man. I don't want to be standing out in the streets with this money on me, man. Can you hold my money till later on or something like that, man? And they say, man, no problem, because they're good friends. Philly has a lot of real nigga barbers, but I'm going to give you barbers to jug. There's a lot of motherfuckers that's coming off the streets, that's coming into your barbershop, that's doing a lot of negative things. And what they do sometimes is say, Hey, can I see your phone? If this happens to you, say, no, you can't see my telephone. Because I didn't know about five or six barbers I was in the feds with. And guess what? They are under indictments for shit they didn't do. Like a lot of them really wasn't drug dealers. A lot of them really was good guys who got themselves caught up. Well, I ain't going to even say they got themselves caught up, caught up. Niggas made up lies on them. The feds hit a conversation because they're calling a hot nigga phone. They're calling a rat, a, a lying informant who's put out in the streets to lock up ex-cons. they calling his phone. When they call his phone, <clears throat> they get the conversation. The feds hear it. Hello? Yo, I want someone, 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 so. Boom. All right, someone, 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 so. So if that person do that for about six months, guess what? You got six months of work on your phone. And when they catch up with you, they're going to times that shit by whatever tables they be coming up with and they math and they numbers, and they're going to lock you the fuck up. That's why it's always important to stay away from not only rats, but sucker-ass niggas that put real niggas in bad position. But we ain't here to judge them because that can be forgiven. A person lying on another person to put him in jail take them away from their families upon the same crime that they committed with them, those are the individuals to watch out for. They walking around. They're, uh, they're convincing our youth that uh, when they play basketball and all that, yeah, man, I got you, man, but hold on, take this little package, man. Little kid growing up, he got the eyes of wanting to be like LeBron James. But this motherfucking rat, this lying ass informant that fucking lied on the man or gave him something that the kid didn't even know was in his bag and said, yo, he got it, pull him over. 20, 30 years, I've seen the kids come, in, come through like that. Uh -huh. This is what's going on. I'm starting to get in my comfort zone with this shit because it's like, I'm going to speak all facts and truth. We ain't going to talk about no paperwork. You know why we ain't gonna talk about paperwork? Paperwork gets fucked up and fucked around. A lot of people will play with paperwork. Take their name off the paperwork and all that. Don't even fuck with the paperwork. 
first of all, it's gonna get you a million fucking years. You heard what, you see what happened to the kid, the rats, 215. Shout out to him. I can shout out who the fuck I feel like. Fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all, all it is is a it's a racist thing, man. And it's I'm talking about what kind of race it is race thing it is, it's against all kinds. It's happening to the white individuals also, it's happening to the Chinese, it's happening to the Mexicans. They're putting us all in one position and putting us in jail, man. Can't do it. We gotta look for jobs and careers. Start your own career. You know what I mean? Do what I'm doing. Fuck it. If it's something that you got on your mind, speak on it, man. You're allowed to speak us for freedom of speech. And don't be no asshole and sit back and let this shit just go go down like this. Cause I'm telling you, it's gonna go the fuck down in a big way, and y'all gonna be sitting around trying to figure it out. I'm letting y'all know now that Jail Liver CEO is gonna stay away from the rats. Y'all can kick it with them and run around with them. Please, please, I'm tired of niggas coming around me saying, I'm saying like, he 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 ain't, uh, he ain't do it to me. You sound like a fucking, like you wanna just go and tell on some fucking body. Now come on, let's be for real. What you mean you didn't, he didn't do it to you? How does that feel to another person's family, man, for you to say some dumb shit like that? Why not be neutral and mind your business and say, man, you know, like, damn, that was wrong for the crime he done and that was wrong for him and making, you know, like, up lives on that guy. Like, y'all niggas be sitting back and be watching this shit. Like, I'm like, man, y'all niggas is fags and cornballs. Y'all niggas know the truth. Man, he ain't telling on me. I'm saying I ain't got nothing to do with that. For what, a cheesesteak? You niggas is being, getting tricked. These niggas taking y'all around the corner, putting a little stack of 1500 in y'all pocket, you know, to be their friends and all that, and y'all niggas is okay with this? It's fucking up our community. It's a genocide. Other subject before I rock out. Young ladies, young men, if a family member, if a, a stranger is molesting you, man, give us a fucking call, man. Hit us on Twitter, man. I mean, you can hit me on Twitter at QSC Takeover DVD. You can hit me on Instagram at Gel Livers Part Two. You know what I'm saying? Like, let us know, man. We run down on that shit. We we can do this. We can smack the shit out of a fucking pedophile. If they're pedophile people, I'm telling you, fuck it. I don't care. Whoever don't like it, yes, we're saying smack the shit out of them. Lucky I ain't saying do more than that. I would be ordering the people to fuck them around bad, but no, that shit got to be stopped, man. This as well as the drugs got to be stopped. This as well as the guns got to be stopped. As y'all say, y'all say the drugs and guns bring in the community. I say the poverty and the way how we're living and y'all not hiring us, giving us jobs that we deserve to work at when we go get education. That shit happens. Adds to the community, you fucking, that shit adds bad to the community, man. Along with these perverts, because these perverts touch these kids and fuck their mind up from the rip. They don't want to go to school. Their whole intentions is like, fuck all that, because they don't have no understanding of nothing after that, man. Would you have an understanding if somebody was fucking touching you for years and you couldn't even go tell your mother or your father? Kids, don't do that, man. Whatever you and your parents are going through, Put that shit to the side and tell your mom, tell your dad, yo, this motherfucker's touching me. If they hitting at you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know some young girls is like not out of here. Come on, man. 13 years old, you niggas fucking them? It's wrong, man. That's pervert shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga need to have a shit smacked out of him for doing shit like that also. Come on, man. You pushing 50 and you fucking a 13-year-old? Come on. What is this? What is this? This shit is genocide. They got us fucking murdering and killing ourselves like this? Shit gotta stop. I'm signing out. I'm speaking only real shit, and I'm telling y'all day in and day out, stay away from those confident, stay away from those confidential informants who are trying to lock up ex cons on lies. They are what you would call the worst kind of rat. They stink. I can smell them. Stay away from them. They don't have no good. It's no benefit in them. What is it? What's the, let me know the benefit in them. Can somebody please tell me the benefit in one of these fuckos? You be around them and what? You're, it's tricking. They tricking y'all.
Buy y'all pair of sneaks, a couple dollars in y'all pocket, man. I'm signing out, like I said. Stay sucker free and rat. And anti-rat, man. Fuck that.